guys are doing really well. Uh, so in today's video, I am sharing with you my holiday skincare. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, if you're not, you could come and join along. Uh, I mentioned that after my trip to Cornwall, I would share, to be honest, I was planning to share while I was away some beautiful moody photos of the products that I took away with me, you know, by the sea or on the beach. But to be honest, I was too busy just hanging out with my kids, having a nice time, chilling out, and not doing too much worky stuff. So when I got back, I shared on my Instagram, I would now share the products that I took with me. So that is exactly what this video is about. If you want more info on skincare and well-being and just bits and pieces, I want to be the first in the know, subscribe and please like the videos, it always helps. Okay, so firstly, I went to Cornwall so the sunshine, yes, we had sunshine. Uh, I wasn't traveling as in getting on a plane, so I wasn't having to worry about the size of bottles that I was taking, so no decanting or trying to get travel sizes. So I could be quite decadent, to be honest, with the products that I took with me. I knew I was gonna be in and out of the sea. I love the sea. In my head, I'm kind of good at surfing. It's really not the case, to be honest. But yeah, in and out of the sea, on the beach with the kids, I do catch the sun. I find when you're hanging out with kids on the beach, you're out there most of the day, to be honest. Um, and whether the sun is shining bright or not, you're still gonna tan. Uh, I always, on my face, use an SPF min minimum of 30. However, I do tan, you know, I have, I do, I don't know whether you'll be able to see, but I do get melasma, I have pigmentation, um, I think we've got Jewish back in the family, uh, somewhere, I know, so yeah, I do catch the sun, I know I'm into skin and that's kind of my thing, but I feel that there's balance there, um, and as long as you safe sun, I think that's the main thing, and definitely protecting where you can. Uh, burning, obviously, is a big fat no. And let me start with cleansing. So firstly, when I'm away on holiday, to be honest, when it's a family holiday, I don't really wear much makeup, so I don't need any cleansers that are gonna, you know, the focus is removing makeup. I often might, lip gloss, obviously. Uh, I do draw my brows on, just because they seem to be disappearing now that I'm getting older. Um, and maybe something a little bit tinted if we're gonna go out in the evening. Uh, and a mascara, definitely. However, I chose one cleanser to take with me and it was Allies of Skin Molecular Silk Amino Hydrating Cleanser. This is what it looks like, if you can see that. It's, it's still a gentle wash, it doesn't really foam, so that's kind of, I wanted something that wasn't going to strip the skin but wasn't going to be too creamy and nourishing, and this ticks that box. It's got silk amino acids, hyaluronic acid, green and white tea extracts. It's just a brilliant, effective, gentle, regular cleanser, and I was using that morning and evening. I'm not going to go into too much science actually with this one. I'm going to literally, I want to share with you the products I chose and why I personally chose them uh, to come away with me. Okay, so I love getting hydration into the skin and I think when we're in the sun and when we're kind of out and about, we possibly need a little bit extra. And yes, I love a hyaluronic acid. I'm looking down because A, I've got my products here, but B, I have my dog curled up on the bed, so I apologise if I'm not constantly talking to camera. I'm distracted. So hydration, I think that's really important. If we're out and about, the skin does get parched. With the sun and if it's a Cornish or a British holiday, you've got the wind and potentially rain as well. So one of my fabulous products at the moment, it's called Kate Somerville Dermal Quench Liquid Lift. I don't know, there we go, you might be able to see that now. This is quite a unique product and I absolutely love it. It's a shake and you have to prime it slightly. They always say to kind of do 
three spritzes and then you spray it over your face you'll it fizzes slightly and then you massage the in I find if my skin is particularly dehydrated I, there's quite a tingle as it's absorbing but that is literally as it says a dermal quench a whole load of hydration this has actually kind of become one of my favorite products at the moment I was using this morning and evening after cleansing I was then switching to a number of different serums. One of them that I've recently been sent to play with and I'm quite enjoying, it's Volition Snow Mushroom Water Serum. It's a hydrating serum and instead of just going for a hyaluronic serum, I wanted to have a play around with this as a plant-based uh, serum. It got some lovely write-ups and things I really enjoyed using it to be honest. I wasn't quite sure about this to start with, whether I needed to do that to open it, but then my brain kicked in and you're actually doing that to get the right amount up in the little pipette. It's a hydrating serum. It's quite lightweight, a little bit silky. I was finding one of those serums was going over base, neck and decolletate, which is exactly what we need to be doing. There's no tackiness to it and it definitely made my skin feel hydrated. So the days after being on the beach, the combination of the dermal quench and the snow mushroom water serum was definitely a little bit of a winner. Okay, on top of that and kind of continuing with my idea of getting hydration into the skin, I took, I actually took two moisturizers with me. First one is Philosophy. It's called Renewed Hope in a Jar Water Cream. So this is another product that is all about getting water and moisture into the skin. Its texture is quite unique. You'll see it's kind of been well used. It definitely feels, it's not a traditional cream it's so difficult to explain but when you massage it in it feels watery there's no other way to explain it uh, you will have to try it um, so it's great for adding hydration but not necessarily like a thick nourishing moisturizer but a lightweight water get some some hydration in rather than overloading the skin so that was another one I probably focus with that more in the daytime just because I like creams in the daytime and oils and serums in the evening but that was then sitting really nicely underneath my SPF it just kind of disappears it's such a unique uh, texture but that was kind of my third layer of hydration and then obviously in the day going to SPF Oskia this is SPF 30 vitamin face cream. It's a mineral sunscreen. It's got other skin ingredients in there, a whole load of uh, B vitamins. But I love a mineral SPF. And to be honest, when I first tried this, let me show you, it was taking a little bit to rub in as mineral SPFs do. Okay, however, on your face, I was finding, as I then rubbed it in, yes, it gave a really nice silky coverage, but it was leaving quite a shimmery, shimmery base. And I know it's focus is SPF, and that's fundamentally what I wanted that product for, my SPF 30, to protect from the sun. But from a usage point of view, it was kind of doubling up to make the skin look dewy and glossy. So I've really, really enjoyed using the Oskia Mineral SPF. And I, that's gonna to continue to be a favorite all year round. It's got a delicate scent actually as well, which is really quite nice. Yeah, so loads of antioxidants, loads of B vitamins, as well as your mineral SPF, but also giving quite a nice glow and sheen. Okay, so that was my daytime. I've missed a product. I was also putting an eye product on and this is another product that 
is is new to 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 my kit and I have become a little bit obsessed with using it. I'm often a little bit underwhelmed with eye products. I think many of us are. The brand is called Aline. Aline Switzerland. It's instant eye lift. So I don't know the sciencey bits about exactly what is in this product. For me, it has got, I like, it's got uh, gold crystals. Makes it sound very fabulous. But I find with eye products, what I want is I want it to feel like it's hydrating. I do get lots of lines and crepiness around my eyes. And I was finding with this texture, it's thick, it's rich, but not oily or sticky and it was just making my eye area and it still does because I'm still using it feel hydrated and softened and you know as if any crepiness was being reduced so that was a daily application I know when we're in the sun and the elements we can often squint quite a bit and you end up with tan lines where you've been constantly squinting Get a good pair of dark glasses to be honest but keeping that area hydrated is essential so this i absolutely love you crepiness is an issue for you then definitely try the aline eye cream okay so my evening holiday skincare routine i don't like taking retinols away on holiday with me. It's just something I think because it's speeding scale turnover, A, I think it's quite nice to have a break from using retinols and there's other amazing things as well. But I just, my preference and my advice to my clients is usually let's ditch the retinols while you might be in the sunshine. We can stick them back in when you get back, um, but let's kind of focus on something else. So I chose some peptides. Peptides are still doing an anti-age. They're stimulating collagen production, which we all need as we age. I chose Medicate liquid peptides. It's a, it's a clear gel kind of serum, easy to apply, no, no feeling, no, as in no tingle. That's the word I'm looking for. You know, no burning, no kind of that sensation. So in the evening I was cleansing applying this and then I was also putting a vitamin C serum on which okay I let me tell you about the vitamin C serum I was using so SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic I know this is a really well loved product and from what it was doing and how it was feeling and absorbing I was loving it. You've got L-ascorbic acid, uh, ferulic acid, antioxidants in here. It's a water-based serum, but what was massively off-putting, and it's, it shouldn't be the main point that off puts me off, I was smelling of bacon. There's something about this, when you put it on the skin, whether it's just my skin's response to it, I was finding I'd got, you know, family going, you smell of bacon. I thought I did, but then when other people are noticing it, I've got an issue there. So I know its results and what it's doing are amazing, but I'm sorry, I, I can't go around smelling like bacon or going to bed smelling of bacon. That's, that's, that's not a good thing. So I was enjoying it, but I'm, I'm probably gonna have to put that one to one side, unfortunately. So I was using it every day while I was away in the sunshine, but it's gonna go in the back of the cupboard for now. I love using an oil at night time. I have quite a few oils to play with. I was very kindly gifted one from Demamiel Skincare. This one, they make seasonal oils and because they're using all plant-based ingredients, uh, this is their summer facial oil. It's beautiful, it's lovely, it's a joy to use. You know, it is quite nourishing, but it's not sticky, it's not heavy. It's just a beautiful oil and I, it's got quite, it is quite a delicate, maybe a ylang-ylang kind of scent. 
so yeah I was applying this over the top of my peptides and my stinky bacon vitamin C serum just that extra hydration it's nice to kind of take it down the neck and all over as well yeah it's just beautiful I love the idea the fact that it's from nature and we're using plant oils that are in season I know with our food that we eat we know eating seasonally is the best thing for our health so I don't know there's just something with that that really resonates with me so a couple of other things that I also took with me a hydrating mask I you know like I said I am in the sun it's nice to keep the skin hydrated so twice during the week that I was away I used the Dermalogica skin hydrating mask uh, a whole load of hyaluronics again I didn't want to take any acids away with me I wanted to focus on skin nourishment and hydration so it's a really nice silky gel kind of mask cleanse slapped it on lay in the bath rinse it off after 15 minutes it just leaves the skin feeling really really hydrated and comfortable which you know again if you have been out in the sun whether you've accidentally caught a bit too much sun or just been out in the elements it's a really great mask for that whip it off and then put the rest of your skincare on so the other product that it's not necessarily skin but I see it in my you know it's thrown in with all my face products is um, I'll tell you in a second and I <laughs> some eye drops oh my goodness I had such a such a uh, oh, I can't even now get my words together Ugh. such a hormonal moment not remembering my words okay eye drops I had my eyes lasered 15 plus years ago uh, so I've had that length of time without glasses however I do now when I get tired my eyes can get a little bit dry so I went to the opticians and they actually recommended these for me they're called high Hycosan Extra, really easy to use, preservative free. Um, you know, I now buy them in bulk, but they're a really easy. You kind of tip your head back, drop it into the inner corners, and it makes such a difference. Traveling, these are amazing. Again, if you've been in sunshine and your eyes are feeling delicate, I was in and out of the sea, and sea water is not the best thing for eyes. So, this again was an essential at the end of the day for kind of just helping restore some bloodshot eyes from the sea. So, that was also an essential. So those are kind of the products that I took away with me. I did take full sizes, like I said, that was quite decadent. Uh, and my focus was on the hydration. Now that I'm back, I have already slipped back in uh, some retinol. And last night I used a gentle acid toner. Because I have got tan on my skin, I don't like going into those kind of active too quickly. So I sneak those back in, but probably two weeks after being back I'll be back into getting those things into the routine more regularly. Uh, I hope you found that interesting. Um, thanks for following along team, it's, uh, it's great as always to chat to you. Take care and I will see you soon. <laughs>